Racing around the world requires dedication, commitment, and a whole lot of skill. Riders will push themselves to the absolute limit in search of thousands of a second, doing anything they can to save time. However, behind every top-level rider is a top-level mechanic, an unsung hero of the races. Thanks to Shimano then, we're going to be following around the Santa Cruz Syndicate and we're going to be following more specifically Lyle Hislop, Greg Minard's mechanic, as they strive to get the fastest time of the day here in Lenzerheide at the first round of the UCI Downhill World Cup. We caught up with Lyle to find out a little bit more about him. So I started in 2020, which was that bizarre Covid year. Started with Worlds and then we did four races at two venues in two weeks. Um, and yeah, it was straight in at the deep end. I'd done one test event race with him uh, in French Cup and Dizal. And then yeah, the first big race we did was um, yeah, Worlds and Liga. Totally surreal experience, like seeing the name across the back, South African colours, then all of a sudden it started snowing. It was just like, it was mad. Uh, since then I've sort of taken on a bit more responsibility and I now do all the team logistics. So all travel, flight, take home, cars. Um, Pat's ordering for the for me and the other wrenches. Um, yeah, but it's been a yeah it's been a hell of a ride so far. The first day of practice was solid. Greg put in a couple of runs and played with some suspension settings. Then took a small break in between to try and dodge a deluge of rain that rolled through. They finished off by going back to their original base settings, as it was what Greg is most used to. Day two, qualifying day. Greg had three practice runs before his qualies. They slowed the low speed rebound and opened up the compression slightly. Unfortunately, in Greg's qualifying run, he damaged his wheel, not making the cut, but luckily he is a protected rider at this race due to his previous season's overall ranking. It's now race day, and today we follow Lyle and Greg through their motions of a World Cup race. Good morning, Leo. Yeah, the reason I've been puzzling over setting this brake for so long is that um, Greg likes real minimal lever, th lever throw. Um, so basically you kind of got to over, overfill the system, which basically just reduces the distance between the pad and the disc, um, so which means you're looking for a fraction of light either side. Um, but obviously you don't want it to be rubbing at all, so it makes it a bit of a dark art, basically. Sometimes I don't even know how to do it myself. Genuinely, looks like it rubs, but you can't hear it, so it looks good. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a pain, but it's what he likes. Um, yeah, just don't fill it from there as a closed system because you'll break the lever. You've got to put the cup in the top and then bring the oil in from there. Um, and just be careful not to overdo it. If you overfill them so that you have like almost instant bite, you um, you won't hit the servo wave and you won't get that ramp and power. Um, the Shimano is deliver, so it's a bit of a balance of minimal throw but keeping in that window of power whilst trying to make sure that half a millimetre aside doesn't rub on the disc. <laughs> Just looking at the weather radar, there's a couple of showers, like one valley over, so pretty close, but looks like we'll be okay. Fingers crossed it stays like that. How much do you change if there's like a last minute massive downpour? Um, it'd have to be a hit's call really, um, but it's just trying to prep um, whatever it is I might need, so. I'll check it again towards the end of practice, make sure it's still looking like it's going to stay dry. And then I'll just set all my spare wheels to the top of the hill with dries on. And if it looks like those patches are getting closer, I might throw a set of shorties on. Um, well, I've already got some, but throw them in my bag just to have as an option. Um, if there's a lot of standing water, which probably won't be unless there's an absolute deluge, um, it's like the bigger mud guard go on. So yeah, just try to look ahead and Make sure you've got exactly what you need when you need it. Yep. Go 
Kind of, yeah. We've always had a spare on the truck, kind of, just in case, but now it's like an actual race bike that's been ridden um, and dialed in, sort of. But just with the new schedule, um, things being quite tight, we decided, yeah, to have sort of as best we can two carbon copies of the same bike. Um, if he has a big moment in practice and we need to get up for semis, then yeah, we might need to just hop on this and put a number board on. Um, but better that than, than miss the run. And then hopefully with the gap between semis and finals is enough time to sort of put right anything that we uh, we need to. So it's a bit of a get out of jail free card, but I think it's one worth having. I learned nothing and then I've overcooked them. We're, um, we tried something with the shop this morning, but we preferred where we were yesterday, so I think we're in a pretty good spot. Um, I think he's did some subtle tweaks to his lines after a track walk yesterday. And um, yeah, just trying to build some pace. So he reckons that we've got some sort of contamination maybe on the pads. Maybe someone's been going hard on the WD between here and the pits, but um, yeah, I'm going to swap out his brakes real quick. And then um, do a revolt check and get up the hill. Ready, mate. As ready as we'll ever be. For you, Danny, you'll be proud. <laughs> <laughs> A long word on the rebound. Hey, we're too late now. Either that or it's time for a hill, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. Yeah. Ring Jordy. So. <laughs> Here we go, all eyes on the greatest of all time, Greg Minar gets his 2023 campaign off to a start here in the semi-finals. What can the GOAT do? Greg Minar always looks so good on the bike and for so many years proved that he's fat and he's showing right now. Looks like double split three. Oh! He went off. He went off the track. He went there. off the track. Oh, flat tire for flat Greg Minar. No, he is protected. Chain. No. No, no, just flat. Mm, we've had a problem. We've had mm -hmm. a problem. Yeah. 8.5 back. I don't know if that's a flat or a maybe a little crash. I don't know. Like <laughs> not again. So the radio came through that he's done a wheel. Um, 
I just looked at the live feed and it looks like it might be puncture first. Um, maybe we'll have to because the tire blew off. Um, so yeah, not entirely sure what's happened. Um, couldn't see it on the live, but he just he came into a turn just like... Um, but yeah, I'll find out exactly how it went. Which is a shame because he was looking good. Lots to do. <laughs> Uh, just chain, mech, and really hanger have gone as well, yep. which kind of makes sense when the tyre flies off. Speed up the low speed on the uh, rebound on the shock one, then we're going to open the low speed compression one on the shock as well. What's that going to try and help change and sort out? Stop a puncture. <laughs> <laughs> Just to speed it up, I think it says his bike feels dead, which is sometimes a good thing. But, oh my goodness, I'm strong. Sometimes not. I think you've got a safe tool. You can though. I'll check it because that's off your spare. Yeah. One of the wheels that was ridden earlier in the week that I've just pulled out because he's done me a mischief. Um, but um, I just double checking the tensions there and they're a little bit low, so just adding a little bit back on. Rachel Atherton wins. He's a legend. I jumped straight in just because obviously new format. I had a rough idea of how much time I had, but like I could rather be ahead than behind. So sort of got back, jumped straight in, got all the, the heavy lifting done and then yeah, chilled out, had some food and then sort of just, yeah, did the little finer touches before we go out. Yeah, she's ready as we'll ever be. Hey guys. Good boys, thanks. Yeah, I'm glad that there's a bit of cloud cover. Mm. Make it easier to see in the Dropping down the race weight, mate. The lawn, the goat. Here we go then. Anything could happen. Greg Minar, the greatest of all time. Greg Minar, the goat. Oh, it was a good one here. Making a mistake. He's charging when Greg Minot makes mistakes. It's been business time. Four World Champs titles, three World Cup overall titles. His last win was in Val de Sole Worlds in 2021. In Greg Minot is two tenths of a second to the good. He's still in green Minot. The big South African sets to work about this Lenzer Heide track. This is a track where he equals Steve Peach win record of 19. Come on, Greg! Can he take another win here today? Losing some time for sure due to that mistake in the wood section. But come on, Greg! This is the GOAT on track in Lenzerheide! 23 career World Cup victories to his name. Can he make it 24 today? Menar, he told us during our track walk that the most difficult thing about this place is linking it all together. No. He's getting a flat! I'm sure he I saw the tire! No. It doesn't seem to be slowing him down much. No! He cracks on Minar. 
It would take wild horses to pull this man away from a race run. I think he might be right, It's Cedric. over. It's over. It's it took over. a long time, though. It did. To, to, to lose all the air. Greg, man, our oh. walk could have been... Oh, that's that. Yeah. Oh. One of the cleverest oh, race braces he's ever nice. known. A disappointing semi rounded out with oh. a disappointing oh. final run. The start you were expecting for the season with two flat tyres and pretty much the same area of the track and the semis and the final. I know, I, I didn't know what it was, you know, and I I felt like I lost track pace because, you know, in the qualifying, I broke my wheel and lost pressure there. Going to the semi, punch it in that place. So it's been a tough weekend. You know, I felt like the pace was kind of there. But, man, it's just such a tough one. It's like the pace is high. You've got to be on it the whole way through. And... Um, it's hard. It's just so frustrating to have three mechanicals and three runs. And, I mean, what are you taking away from this? I mean, going into Gang, how are you going to work on that? I mean, what can be done, really? I don't know. Maybe, you know, is there something to do with, like, keep air in tyres or something? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe just, I'm just going to go to Gang early and pull out every rock possible. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, Greg. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, sorry, mate. Let's see, oh, see how they go. Last and final run. Oh, mate, yeah. We're having, we're having air troubles this week, but that is the nature of things sometimes. We uh, we try again. Do you know where it was? Was it similar place? Uh, it was almost identical to, to semi, so I don't know if it was just the line or... Yeah, don't know, mate. Yeah, I've, I've obviously not seen him yet. We've just been watching the race with the other mechanics and... But yeah, I'll get full debrief when I see him. But yeah, pretty bummed to to have a mechanical in all three timed runs. Um, we we're very fortunate to be protected start to finish this week, um, which we won't be next week. So we've kind of yeah, we're gonna have to have a bit better luck and uh, yeah, we'll see how she goes, mate. We'll be there. We'll be there. So I think it goes without saying that a mechanic is only as good as his tools and a rider is only as good as his mechanic. Now, it maybe didn't work out quite the way they'd planned it this time, but that's not to say that Lyle and the rest of the team won't be striving for perfection and to iron out any problems they might have experienced this time for the next round in Lear game. Thank you very much to Shimano for making the video happen and Lyle, of course, for letting us shadow them for the entire weekend. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And if you'd like to see any more videos like this, well, do hit your like and subscribe button because it helps support the channel and bring you more great content. Thank you to everyone involved in this video. I'm out of here, I'm gonna drink my tea, get down and watch some XC racing, and I'll see you next time.